Hi everybody, welcome back. Happy Easter. I'm going to do another pour now inspired by Chris Schneider from Chris Schneider Art. I'll link her video and her videos and her YouTube channel in the description of this video. Check her out. She is this amazing artist. She does absolutely incredible landscapes, absolutely beautiful. So um, we, we did a challenge recently for each other, which was so much fun. So I'm going to do another pour based on her style and her technique um, of sky and um, rolling hills and um, for Easter I'm then going to try and create um, a hill uh, with, a, with a, a peak to the hill and put the three crosses silhouettes on top of the hill for Easter. Um, so really excited to try this. Um, the crosses I will do afterwards um, so I'm just going to do the sky and the green, the scenery, the grass area now. So let me show you the colours I'm using. These four colours are for the sky. I've got Amsterdam White, Amsterdam Sky Blue Light, King's Blue and Pebio Silver. For the last pour, I added um, a colour called Wedgwood and it totally took over. So I've taken that out and instead added some silver. I've got, um, now let me try and remember. This is Earth Green by Pebio, but by diluted with white. This is Amsterdam Sap Green. Amsterdam Bronze and Pebio Chrome Green Hue, I think. Uh, they're all mixed with PVA glue and water. I'll put the recipe for the mixture in the description as, of this video as well. First thing I need to do is layer up my cups of paint. Let me just try and show you the consistency of this paint because it's, I'm going to be doing flip cups, but it's quite a runny mixture for flip cups. When I do flip cups normally, it's much thicker. It's got silicon in. There's no silicon in this and it's really quite runny. So it doesn't really leave a trace on the surface, only for a split second. So I'm going to do two blues and two green cups. I don't want it 50-50, this painting, but I think that is going to be plenty for the size canvas I'm using. So unless I do, I could do three greens. Let's do two to start with, see what happens. It's very runny, so as I layer these cups, I'm not really going to be able to get the light colours on top of each other so I'm just going to pour them in um, probably from a bit higher actually like a dirty pour so that when I they'll all mix as they go in as they enter the cup I'm going to do two blue cups so one of them is going to be the lighter the other one is darker so let's just do lighter first so more silver and white in this cup And I think for the greens, again, I'm going to have one cup that's got darker, the darker colours in, less of the light green. Let's put a little bit of light green in. This canvas is 30 by 42 centimetres. I'm going to have my sky at the top here and then my hill here. I, I sort of envisage it, it starting lower and then the hill going up off to the side and then the crosses being on the side. So it's not symmetrical. Um, so let's do the cup, put the cups down. So the lighter cup and then the darker cup. Yeah. And then the lighter one and then the darker one. That's the order. So I'm going to flip them over here and then tilt them this way afterwards. So I'm just going to flip it over and drag it. Right, that wasn't very good at all. I needed to drag it more, more like that. Right, there's lots of lumps. Where's that come from? There's a big lump of something in there. It's probably just paint. Yeah, it's just paint that's not mixed in enough, which is a shame. I thought I'd mixed them well. 
Right, let's just give this a torch. Just going to very quickly make um, a little side for the edge of this canvas. I've just got a piece of frog tape and I'm folding a third of it over. So a, th a third is sticky, or half is sticky now and a half isn't. And I'm just going to put that on the edge. And the reason I'm doing that is because I want to get a lot of this paint down to the other end without it falling off the canvas. Mm. I don't want to lose the paint. So it's just going to hold it on. It means it's not going to be able to fall off the canvas. And then the same the other side. So let's start getting this canvas covered. Oh dear, that doesn't go well. What I should have done is really just tilted straight down. I think what I'm going to do is tilt that off and then bring it back and hope I've got enough paint. I'm really really happy with this look at this sky it is absolutely fascinating it's quite a magical sky there's I don't, I don't know I don't know what even that looks like but you've got some really really pretty effects it looks maybe a bit stormy up in that corner um, I've got a, I'm really happy with the balance of colors so you've got the darker blues near the bottom the lighter at the top there's going to be a wonderful iridescence from this as it dries because of the silver that's included um, and then the green section, so, so happy that that bronze disappeared. There's still hints of the bronze, which is great, but it was far too much bronze. Um, and I'm I'm loving this rolling hill. So I'm just imagining the crosses up here on the court, on the edge. I'd imagined it the other side, but it's just not the way that how the pan, painting panned out. Um, and you, but you can see the hills, you can see the depth in it. Um, really, really happy. Um, so when this is dry, um, I will start the embellishing. So here's the dry result. So I'm ready to start embellishing it. Just thought I would show you quickly before I start. Really interesting. Can you see how the um, the bronze has it's cracked so to to reveal the bronze underneath so normally I would be really upset with this but it just looks so cool and um, a bit like cracks in the soil cracks in the mud so I'm not worried about that at all I think it actually really adds to it really interesting it's only very subtle cracks um, you can just see it there um, we've got some peas in the sky we've got to get rid of them I can't have green in the sky um, but I'm just loving this really kind of fierce looking sky it's bright but it's moody you've got a definitely moody bit here but then these little wisps I'm sure there's lots of technical names for these different types of clouds um, it's just so pretty and because it's got silver in can you see the the iridescence and the shine on it 
so I'm really happy. I love the contour of this. Um, so I like it. it goes up slightly there and down and then a nice big hill. So here I'm going to put my crosses. I'm going to hand paint them and I'm also going to start adding a few flowers and bits and pieces um, down here just to um, give it a bit more interest. So here is the totally finished painting, really happy with it. There's something a little bit off about the composition to me, um, but I've, I've done my best and I'm really happy with the results. So let me show you all the details. So I added in red um, and a few little purple flowers, but mostly red. Um, I think because it's the, the three crosses, it's to signify Good Friday, um, Jesus dying on the cross, it made sense to have some red uh, to sort of represent blood, um, maybe like poppies um, in my field. So I used a paintbrush to create the grass this time and I preferred that to using a, a card or a stick. Um, and then lots of little fingerprints with, with the reds. Um, then the crosses, I am denied about the size of these crosses. I think maybe they're slightly large, um, but I tried to add some depth into them. I tried to make the central one look bigger. It's slightly set back further, slightly higher on the hill. Um, I had to try to add a little shadow, a little bit of grass around it. Um, I very gently used a Posca pen to outline it um, and tried to keep it all quite uneven looking to make it more look like natural wood. Um, and then the, yeah, just the effects of the flip cups. I just love that. That's such gentle, but irregular sky. Um, and the same with the, the grass. Um, so yeah, I'm so happy with it. Um, so different. I've never done anything like this before. Um, so yeah, really, really happy. Um, so please let me know what you think. Um, happy Easter. Take care everyone. Bye.